Our first speaker today is Aaron Judd. Uh, so with over 20 years of experience, Aaron Judd has helped build some of the fastest growing consumer marketplaces on the web. A veteran of multiple startups since the early dot-com days, he's been a, a founder, CTO, and v VP of technology and advisor to numerous startups in, uh, and currently he is the founder and CTO of Ongo Works. And today he's going to be telling you about Reaction Commerce and LaunchDoc.io. That was a long intro, I know. Um, hi, I'm Aaron uh, from uh, Ongo Works. We're a small team. The whole team is here. Uh, Sarah, Ben, uh, and uh, one of our core contributors, Eric. Uh, Eric is also uh, the developer of Autoform Collections 2 and Simple Schema. Uh, he's uh, uh, done a lot for us, so he's here hanging out with us. Um, our projects are Reaction Commerce and LaunchDoc. Uh, Reaction Commerce was the first project that we started, so I'm going to talk about that first, and then I'll follow up with LaunchDoc, which is uh, a, a progression of what we built for Reaction. It's an app launching platform. These are uh, completely open source platforms. Uh, they're Meteor, and uh, they're available right now on GitHub. Sarah and I uh, started uh, Ongo works uh, about a year and a half ago. We met working at a startup in Los Angeles where uh, we are creating a, a fashion marketplace. The idea on the fashion marketplace was to do uh, dynamic merchandising and product content de depending on a user's social pattern. We had a million dollars in, fund in seed funding and we were trying to build a, this marketplace on Magento. Um, Magento is sort of a pain. Uh, I think it's okay to say that I, for me, right? Maybe. Um, and we used about 50% of our overall budget just on development. And once we had built that, it was still a really difficult time for all of our staff. Most of our staff were young. This was their first time working in e-commerce and understanding things like data attributes and categories and collections and all this uh, and payment processing. And it was all a little bit difficult, uh, as I think it is for uh, a lot of small businesses. But in addition to that, we had all the trouble of making this thing reactive in real time. Magento is PHP, not event driven. Uh, and we realized that building something from the ground up is what we needed to do. We needed something that was event driven like e-commerce is. And uh, we decided to start Ongo Works to build that. We actually uh, released the alpha release of Reaction. Uh, it's at reactioncommerce.com. We've got a few features that we've built. Um, well, a ton, to be more precisely. And we have probably, to be honest, a, a year's worth of work left to do. Uh, we have a basic cart functionality. You can check out, you can add products, you can add images, you can uh, do uh, sub, you know, vari variant management. So if you have a product that has different sizes, different colors, you, you can do all of that. Um, it, it's your basic shopping cart uh, at this point uh, with a little bit more uh, behind the scenes. What we're really trying to accomplish there is that uh, the product grid and the products that you see are all live and dynamic in response to users' behaviors. Uh, and that's where uh, we're going next. We had to build the first uh, level of functionality that any e-commerce uh, product needs. And when we get to the dynamic, then we'll release a beta. <laughs> so that's the, the next part. I, I'm going to talk a little bit. Uh, I'm just actually going to work through the slides, and then I'm going to actually do demos. So. Uh, in the order of things, once we built the alpha, we decided we needed a way for uh, all developers to be able to customize our core code, release their own uh, core code uh, with their modifications um, easily in the same ecosystem as the rest of our uh, shops. So we wanted we don't want you to have to go to AWS or you know uh, something else and re to release the shop. We just want you to co customize the code and press play and, and it works in our ecosystem. 
So we built uh, a product we're now calling LaunchDoc, which was to use Docker uh, virtual app containers uh, and uh, build off of a Docker file or a, a, a GitHub URL uh, a new version of our app and launch that within our hosting. That is, uh, then we sort of said, well, LaunchDoc can be a little bit more than that. It doesn't have to be just for our app. It can be for any Meteor app. It can be for any Node.js app. It can actually, it's Docker, so it can be any app out there. We built, uh, and, and then we, we said, well, you know, there's, there's actually a, a little bit more that we could do with this. We could actually uh, make this a community-driven system. So if you uh, add a host to our launch doc system, that host can be available to other developers to launch apps on. So you have multiple hosts. You're sharing multiple containers. Let's say your host goes down, then uh, I will instantiate those containers from your host on another host within our ecosystem. You add a host to our system, we'll give you, you know, container credits, uh, and you basically you good good karma points, uh, and then can uh, uh, add more uh, containers of your own. Um, one of the things is that you might have a host. This way, you can add two hosts uh, to our service and get back you know, however many hosts we have in the system. You could spread your app containers across uh, you know, multiple client, uh, continents or uh, multiple hosts. So load balance, self-healing is the idea here. I, I personally think, I mean, because we, we built this around Meteor, uh, one of my favorite features is that we actually wrapped all of the Docker methods uh, with Meteor. So you have Meteor DDP methods available. Uh, you can, any Meteor app that you have right now, you can call these DDP methods to our uh, launch doc and you can uh, instantiate containers from a simple call. So if you have an app and you want to release, you know, four more versions of your app uh, when somebody hits a button, uh, you can do that. Uh, there, there's, there's, there's cool things there. Um, you can benefit uh, the benefits from the shareable, scalable infrastructure, and you know, just the I, I don't know. Thing is, bring your own distributed app clusters. Is I was trying to figure out a cool description here. So, this is our launch site um, for Reaction Commerce, and to demonstrate the whole process, hopefully this works. This is one Meteor app calling the DDP call to a, another Meteor app where uh, it is instantiated uh, out on another cluster. And I have a live running with its own database, whole nine yards. Um, this developer, you know, that launches this platform, that, that those credentials I gave um, are your, they're your, your database username, they're your database password, they're, they're everything you need to go and manipulate and, and do whatever you want. What that actually did was it launched a container simultaneously. Don't mind the name, I've, we've changed from Rocker Docker to Launch Doc. Um, <laughs> obvious reasons, I think. Um, so we launched this instance. Uh, I, can, I can see it from there. Uh, I can um, get information on it. Uh, I can uh, kill that app. I can, I can do whatever I want. And I will show you more in a bit. So within Reaction Commerce, uh, this is just a sample shop that we built to show. We have simple things like drag and drop merchandising, uh, which is not terribly easy to do in systems like Magento. Um, you know, pretty much because drag and drop is cool, still, we did drag and drop everywhere we possibly could do drag and drop, you know. Uh, well, that's not working, but it's supposed to. Um, you know, 
like everywhere we could put. Um, you know, double click to edit is also super cool. So we, we made sure we had lots of double click to edit. Um, underlying, of course, we're using Mongo. So we sort of ditched the whole traditional products, parent products, child products, and all of that, and said, let's just build these as, as objects that we keep throughout uh, the life cycle. So we just clone the object whenever uh, we go to checkout, and we have a full history of that uh, object. But we also said, let's extend that a little bit. And just instead of that whole child-parent relationship you get, let's just uh, clone child objects. Uh, so anytime I want to add um, a new with no images. Actually, I didn't pay attention, and I don't have good images, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I want to add one of these to my cart. That's all simple and reactive as well. And there you go. That's reaction commerce. And go back and demo launch doc. This is the live. Version right now. You guys can use your Meteor developer account, um, or you can uh, use the secret code of LaunchDoc if you want to test. I already have an account, so. This, the, the test uh, version of LaunchDoc only has one host uh, running right now. Uh, you guys are free to run things on there. Uh, when you first come in here as a new user, you would see a introduction screen, and it just asks you to go ahead and add a host. Um, adding a host, you put in a private IP, a public IP, and you can add it to the pool. I already have one in here, so I'm not going to do that. but uh, to launch a new app container, I look up the app name as it lives in the uh, Docker hub, and it finds it. It also finds that I have put in previously needed URLs for this, um, or environment variables for this, and those can be anything you want. Uh, and, and so, you know, anytime you add a container in here, that you've set up, somebody else uh, it goes to use that same app container. They're going to get a, a bunch of preset things, just making it like a template easy to enter. That just launched that. We use a we have a Apache instance running right now, which doesn't do uh, doesn't do uh, sticky sessions. So we're going to be doing a load balanced uh, self discovery kind of network uh, in our next release, but. Uh, right now, this just sets one container on one box, and you, you saw that running. Um, that's it. I think Q&A, yeah? yeah? All right, I, questions. I'm kill my test box. <laughs> so the UI looks awesome. I was wondering what uh, functionality you have to write your results and what you were able to find out here. Actually, uh, you know, we've used a fair, uh, which one for, uh, which, which, what have we used from Atmosphere uh, is the question, and how much have we written ourselves? Yeah. Uh, we've written a lot ourselves. Uh, we've been working on this for uh, nine months, so a lot of the projects in Atmosphere probably weren't even really that stable uh, at that point. Uh, we have used... Uh, Autoform Collections 2 in Simple Schema for Eric. We used Iron Router, um, maybe a few uh, a few others, but not a lot really. Um, the 
in, in launch doc, we had to write pretty much all of this from scratch, except for, you know, Autoform and Iron Ratter and that stuff, because there's no Meteor, there's no Docker, I mean, there's no Docker wrappers or any of that kind of stuff, so that's all from scratch. Other questions? All right. Thank you. Cool.